back to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing some more Disney Dreamlight Valley and hopefully we're going to unlock Stitch and invite him to our little town and maybe do a quest with Wally or something. You know, whatever's fun and cute. Let's jump into it! So earlier when I was playing, I did find a third sock in the forest. So there was like three socks lost throughout like the different lands. So there was one in the forest, one on the beach, one I think in the meadow or something. And so I found this one in the forest, so I think Stitch stole it. I mean, it's kind of obvious. So I think this is the last thing we need to get Stitch. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out together. Okay, so a few things have changed since I last played. I gave my character like a whole makeover. So I have this new hair now that I got from Mother Gothel. And then I'm wearing this like pirate jacket, some fun pants and shoes. You know, just had to switch it up, look fun and cute. Um, I'm gonna change my quest to the Donald one. I think it's Donald. Yeah, built to destroy. That's what we're doing today. Hopefully that means I'm gonna get Stitch. Oh, and this is my new companion. It's the turtle. So for this quest, it looks like we need to talk to Mickey, Kristoff, and Merlin. And I think one of them is over here, Merlin. Okay, cool. So many Shut up, Ruby. How do I talk to you? I think I have to go around. Merlin, hello. He's like stuck back here. Merlin, please let me talk to you, please. Literally, what the f? It's not letting me talk. Um. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Merlin. Do you want to give these items? Oh, I guess it was his sock. Didn't know he wore orange pumpkin socks. Oh, hello. Well, now, what do you have there, Elena? Good Goodness day. gracious, my sock! I've been looking for this everywhere. A dear friend conjured these for me long ago. They're my most cherished pair. Oh my god. But I hold them close while I can almost remember her face. Oh, love interest though. Wait a moment. It looks like the sock has been a bit slobbered upon. Stitch! Um, it's space alien slobber. Space aliens, you say? Hmm. There's someone going around stealing everybody's stuff and dropping it everywhere. You might have heard Donald talking about it. What a hmm, yes, I have heard him going on about extraterrestrials of some sort. But we have enough magical muddles around here without worrying about that. So, do you think Donald's quacking up the wrong tree, or have you noticed anything else going missing? <sighs> now that you mention it, someone's been pilfering books and causing a great commotion in the Dreamlight Library. We have a library? Since when? Hmm, maybe I can find a clue in there. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then let's go find Kristoff. It's probably... Oh no, he's over here. Okay. He's kind of close, we don't need to take the map. Okay. And I'm slowly working on the design of my village. It's kind of ugly. I don't know, I'm doing the best I can with what I have. Where was he? He was like over here. Near like Remy. Oh my god, where did he go? He's like down. Oh, is he in the, the building? Is this Remy's house? I literally forgot because I- Oh no, he's over here. The fuck? He's just on the edge. Cool. Hello? Hello. Hi. Um, I- You need any help? Hey, Elena, you know Goofy? Wait, this doesn't seem... Yeah, we're friends. Yeah. He seems like a nice guy. I'd like to get to know him better. It'd be great to make some more friends around the village. Goofy and Christopher's friends is kind of odd. Does he have any hobbies I could talk to him about? Um, Goofy likes fishing. Yeah. Fishing, huh? I can work with that. Thanks, Elena. That was not what so I needed long. to talk to him about, but okay. Well, hey. Let's try this again. Wait, could we talk? What am I supposed hey, to say? Thanks. Oh wait, search Merlin's library for a clue? Wait, what the heck? I thought I had to talk to Kristoff and Mickey. And where the hell is the library? It's just in his house? Again, as I was saying before, I got distracted. Is this Remy's house? Because, like, he also has Shay Remy, and, like, nobody ever goes in here. But I think I put this house here because I thought it was Remy's house, because I wanted him to be near my house, I think. But, like, who else is gonna be- I'm just kidding, I mean, it's just so obvious it's Remy place. as he's in here. Oh, he's you. never in here, though. This is legit the first time he's been in here. Got a question for me? Mm. Question for you. When you're cooking, do you prefer to experiment or follow a recipe? Uh, follow the recipe. Yes. Very smart. Making a perfect meal exactly to specifications is an art form. But don't be afraid to get messy, play around, and experiment. Mm. Combine mm. ingredients. Okay, great. Thank you for the little yeah. advice, Remy. But Remy is one of my faves. He is so cute. Bye, Remy. He literally is never in that building. I was like, who the fuck's house is this? But that's kind of cute that he has like his own house and then he has his restaurant. That's Slay. He's like the only character that has two buildings. Anyway, we gotta go to this freaking library now. I finally got the orb thingy in the Sunlit Plateau that I was trying to do with last game because it was taking forever. Oh, I'm just blocked by his house. But I finally got it, so that's good. 
And then I'm still trying to save up Dreamlight to go to a certain area. Okay, what am I doing? Remove the trash. Oh, this stuff. Stitch, are you hiding in here? Come be my friend. You can replace Wally and Remy as my new best friends. Oh, there's more trash over here. Uh, hello. Nothing. Oh. Apparently I found a clue in Merlin Library. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so stupid, and this game- Whatever. This game is so confusing and weird, I don't know. And it takes forever to load. Like, the loading screen, it takes like a whole minute for the game to even load. Anyway. Wait, so what was the clue that I found? What was the clue? Oh, this. But, okay, pick it up. Don't know what it was, where do I take it? Mysterious Claw to Donald, okay. The Claw. Apparently is what I found. Donald, I'm here! Hello! Um, built to destroy. Here's your claw. Enjoy. M-I-C-K-Y-M-O-U-S-E Um, oh boy, look at that. That's proof that piece of claw had to have come from a space alien. I mean, there's no other explanation. He's dead on the money. Do you still have the strange device? You bet, and it's beeping a lot. I'm gonna put the claw piece in it and see what happens. Oh my god, are we just gonna like conjure Stitch from the machine? Ah. Whack, what's it doing? Nothing's happening. It's all lit up, the screen says. DNA match authorization 100% complete. Please please begin to initiate landing protocol. Keep clear for your own safety. What does that mean? I think it means this thing is some kind of homing beacon. Okay. We need to put this down somewhere and then the alien spaceship will land. And then we can catch the sock stealing space aliens. Smart thinking, Elena. Now no one will doubt me the next time I see something suspicious going on around here. Let's put it down on Skull Rock off Dazzle Beach just to be safe. Why? Let's put it in the middle of town square. I don't see the issue. But okay. Bye! Okie dokie, time to get Stitchy Boy! Where does he want me to put it? Just anywhere? Place the homing beacon on Skull Rock. Does it matter where? Uh, how do I place it though, is the question. How and where do I place it? Do I need to like physically place it like it's a furniture item? Oh, maybe I do. Oh, I do, okay. I mean, I mean, I don't really care where it goes. Let's just put it here. No, here, okay, cool. Yay, we did it. Is this quick? What happens this fast? <gasps> oh my god! Stitch! Oh, How cute! Freaking Stitch! Oh my god! Ah. Oh my god, look at him! He's just a little guy. He's just a little dude. Like, literally, look. Oh, can you see? My giant Stitch is in the background. Oh, you can't see because- and I wasn't even talking in the mic. You can't see because my chair's in the way, but I have a giant- What is it? 24 inch Stitch? I don't know how big it was, but- Bought that at the Polynesian! Shout out, Polynesian! Worked there for seven months, haha. Huh? Anyway, let's talk to Stitch. Stitch! Pew! Ikiba Chota Do Charine. Um, excuse me, are you the space alien who's been stealing all the socks? Uh -huh. Socks? Yeah, socks make good fuel for Stitch's ship, but now. Oh. Ship crashed. Ah, oh. I'm sorry, so sad about it. I'm sorry, Stitch. Blah. Was it you? No, no, it was Donald. It was that guy. It wasn't me, it wasn't me, I swear. Uh, I didn't mean for- no. We just wanted to stop you from stealing all the socks. Oh. Bravo, no oh. My ship is broken, your fault. No, it wasn't my fault, Stitch. Please, we have to be besties. Um, I think your ship was malfunctioning even before it crashed. It looks like you were having some trouble steering it. <laughs> me go, me do me. I don't know how to read his lines. Ika patoka. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome, you just go cutie. Okay, we have to talk to Donald now. Good to see ya. Oh my god, my turtle is swimming in the background. How cute. A little squirt. Okay. I saw that blue alien hop out of his spaceship. I remember him from before the forgetting. His name is Stitch, and he loves to cause trouble. I literally recently watched all... Not all of them, but I watched three of the Lilo and Stitch movies. It was like, uh, Leroy and Stitch, Lilo and Stitch, and then like, Lilo and Stitch 2, whatever. And some of them were not good, but the first movie is very good. We love it. 
We love Ruben. Experiment whatever he is, but slay Ruben with the sandwiches anyway. <laughs> but I think the forgetting made him even more trouble than before. Do you know what this means, Donald? You were right all along. There was a space alien stealing everybody's socks. Yeah. I knew it, and nobody believed me. I was the only one who had it figured out. Now you can brag about it to everyone. Ha, huh, I can't wait to show Uncle Scrooge that I was right. I'd hold off on bragging to Mr. McDuck until we know for sure that Stitch isn't going to destroy all the most valuable property in the village. Ah, I guess you're right. We can't have Stitch running around the village destroying stuff. We gotta catch him, but ha he's, he's like two feet away. <laughs> he's literally standing over there. Um, while his spaceship got destroyed, I guess that was his only place to live. He seems pretty mad about it. Maybe we can start by asking your Uncle Scrooge to make a home for him. Cute! He can live right next to me, except I don't know where there would be room. I don't know where to make him live. I don't know. Things. Stitch and Wally can be friends. And so can Remy, and we'll all be like four little besties. <laughs> um, okay. That's a good idea! That way Stitch can wreck his own house instead of mine. Okay. Oh, so I already have his house? It says to place his house in the Dreamlight Valley. So we need to figure out where to put his freaking house. I don't know what it looks like. But I'm like, okay, it needs to be maybe somewhere over here. Because, like, Wally lives up here, I live up here, and Remy lives up here. I just don't know if I have the room, though, so that's the problem. So I didn't even have to talk to Scrooge, I'm just, I'm just placing it. Oh, it looks cute. Okay, let's see. I know I should probably- maybe I'll just put it in the meadow. Like... Here or something? I don't know. Because, like, this is where Mickey, Minnie, and uh, Goofy, and- what's her face? And Merlin live over here. Mirabelle, too. Oh, but you know what? It kind of fits right here. Can I put it here? Ugh, I can't delete that stupid whatever that is. There's like a, a tree stump that I like cannot delete. But it won't let me put the house over it? That is so annoying. Uh, so I guess I... I guess I'll have to put it down here. In the meadow somewhere. Like here. But there's a tree stump there. Oh my god. Bro, I don't even know how to get rid of those tree stumps. Okay, so it looks kind of wacky, but I'm just gonna put it here, and then when I can delete the tree stump, I'll, like, move it. I'll move the house over. Oh, shoot, I forgot I was all the way over here. Um, Donald, I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay, let me quick travel over here to pay off the house. Someone tell me, how do I get rid of the tree stumps? What do I have to unlock on my shovel? Like, I don't even know. I'm kind of a noob at this game. Okay, here is Stitch's house. It's just gonna be sideways and we're just gonna deal with it even if it doesn't look cute aesthetically. Okay, Elena, that wee blue lad is running amok all over the valley. Isn't he a mite destructive? Ooh. How does he know? He's literally just been standing at the island this whole time. He has not done anything. All that property damage. Ouch, my wallet. Aches just thinking about it. We ought to make him his own place that he can wreck as much as he likes. That's what we're doing, girl. 10,000? Oh my god. I'm never gonna have enough to upgrade my house. That was literally half my money just spent right there. Okay, a house for Stitch to wreck. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, now, Dine, worry. I'll have this done in a trice. Oh, I can't even read this shit half these characters say. What's it gonna look like? Cute. It's just sideways. Haha. -ha. Nice. We love it. How cute. Mother Gothel. She's like running into my turtle. Okay, let's go tell Stitch the good news. He's just been standing here. What a cutie. Hi, Stitch. Hi. You again. He, or boo boo boo, whatever. I wanted to apologize. We didn't mean to wreck your spaceship. To make up for it, we built a special place in the village just for you. Special place? Special place like home? Exactly. Oh, Stitch wants to have a home. I'm Elena. You probably don't remember this place because of the forgetting. Sky got dark and bad night thorns grew. Stitch go into ship to get help for everyone. Oh, he was just trying to be helpful. But I need fuel. So I come back. Find things to put in the ship so ship go faster. What sort of things did you put in your ship? Lots of stuff. Socks, books, night thorns. You tried to use night thorns as fuel? Did it work? No, not good. And then night thorns make my head not good. <laughs> Cute. So I got Lila lost. Well, you're not lost anymore, Stitch. Wow. Elena. Akichi Baba. Are you my friend? Of course. We are all friends. Welcome back to Dreamlight Valley. Just promise you'll give back all the socks you took, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, promise. He's lying, but okay. Ha Hagada. Yeah. Oh, I got a present. 
Guys, we did it. We got starch short. Um, okay, let's slay. Uh, what else did I want to do? I think there was a quest from Wally. A friendly exchange. Yeah, there's that. The memory showed a new image of Wally's life in the village before the forgetting. Then we'll see Wally now. Maybe Wally and Stitch can become friends and that'll be cute. Okay, found Wally over in the ledge where everyone likes to hang out apparently. Ooh, that strange machine we fixed found another memory. It's a memory of your trading of you trading trinkets with Ariel. You knew each other. Wow, I bet you want to talk to her. Follow me. Oh yeah, I got Ariel on my island recently. Talk to Ariel about the memory. Okay, where is she? Okay, yeah, she's down here. Let's go. So this is actually where Ursula's house used to be, but I moved it because Ariel's house is cuter. So. <laughs> Ariel, we're here. Hi. Oh my gosh, Elena, it's so great to see you. And Wally, you're here too. Yes, he collects things like you. He'd like to trade with you. Oh, I'd love that. Wally's a wonderful collector. We should start trading again. Oh, I can trade him my duplicates. I have a whole box full of Dingle Hoppers. Is that the only collectible she has? My name is Dingle Hopper. And I'd love to find some things I've heard about, like a bowling pin. Mm. Or a toy train, or something called a flight bulb. Mm. Wally, if you have any of those, I'd love to trade. He definitely has a light bulb. Goodbye. Okay, y'all, what what's y'all gonna trade? What's y'all gonna trade? Why am I, like, mediating this trade? Ariel's looking for a bowling pin, a toy train, and... I think she meant a light bulb. Do you have any of those? Hmm. Where do you think we could find a light bulb? Wally, you think you have that in your own collection? That's great. And what about a bowling pin? Oh, oh, you're using your hands to make a long nose and a pointy hat? Oh, do you think Goofy or Merlin would have one? Okay, I can check with them. And how about a toy train? Uh, I'm not sure either. Maybe Scrooge or Mickey will have one? And let's go look for them. Whoopee! Whoopee Goldberg. Okay, so I guess I need to get all three things, but she's only gonna trade Wally a Dingle Hopper, or is he gonna get three Dingle Hoppers? How fair is this trade? I, I need to mediate, I'm the mediator. Okay, first we're gonna check Wally's house. I think this is a light bulb right here. Nice! And then, oh, it doesn't let me travel in the house, okay. Wally, get out of the way. Next, we'll go to the bowling pin, so Goofy. Goofy probably has a bowling pin for like juggling or something. Anyway. Alright, there's Goofy. Goofy. Hi there, pal. Hi there. Um, no. Is it. Would it be in his house? Oh, maybe. Because he did not seem like I could talk to him. Okay, let me check his house. Which is over here. Yup, he totally has one. Stealing! I didn't even ask him. Okay, for the toy train, me thinks we should check Mickey's house. Also, my camera angle is different now because I did drop my camera. Flashback. Kim. Oh, fuck. End of flashback. And yeah. So if it's changed, that's why. Okay, toy train. Oh yeah, literally right here. This was so easy. Cute. Okay, Wally, I got all your items. Even though I stole them. Just like Stitch. Oh my god, he's so happy and excited. Yay, Wally. Wally! Here are all the things for your exchange. Now let's go see Ariel. Whoopee! Oh, look at that. We're so helpful. Making best friends for Ariel and Wally. I really hope Eve is in this game. Cause that would be cute. Okay, Ariel is over here. Where is she? Uh, okay, she's over here now. Oh, 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 please stop moving. Oh, oh, uh, she's gone. What? See what I mean about this game being actual shit? Look, where is she going? I can't even go that deep in the ocean, girl. <laughs> what the fuck? She said, I'm running away. You cannot catch me. Is she just gonna like go off the whole grid? That seems like what's happening. Let me just save my game just in case it's about to like restart or something. No, she's just swimming over here for some... She's going too fast! Like, how am I supposed to catch her? Oh my god. Okay, now take two. Let's try that again. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. They just wanted to do this shit without me, huh? Great, okay. 
Look there. She's trading. What's she gonna give him? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, Wally. These are amazing. I've never seen anything like them before. Uh-huh. Gotta make sure this is a fair trade, huh? What can I trade you for these? Oh, I know. Plates? Plates. Dishware? Porcelain. Ooh, Molly's like, uh, kinda lame, but like, I have to pretend I like it. I got my little turtle, my little turtle. This is called a hat. Humans put them on their heads. Okay, so she is- nope, that's a thimble, but okay. Y'all, I'm just trying to be the voice of reason. That's a thimble, it's not a hat. But I guess it would be cute if he wore it. It wouldn't really fit his big little binocular head, though. Okay, what's the third item? A musical instrument. Oh my gosh, slay. Oops, nope, that's an alarm clock, but it's okay. It's fun, Wally seems to like that. Wally, what do you, you think? I'm glad you can start trading trinkets with Ariel again. Whoopee! Yay, we did it! But Wally's already maxed his level, so it's all good. Yay, best friends. All right, let's go find Stitch one last time. Where are you, Stitch? It said he was over here somewhere. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> he's so little, I didn't see him. Stitch. Hi. My name's Stitch. Uh, what's your plan for today? Hello, Elena. Stitch, make new hula dance. What should dance be about? Uh, flowers. Yeah, Stitch family likes flowers. Flowers are good for hula. Flowers mean family. Okay. Why is Goofy side-eyeing us? Like, you're not part of this conversation, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. How cute. Okay, so now we got Stitch. Yay, that's fun. We did it! <laughs> So we achieved my main objective, which was to get Stitch. So thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, let me know. Leave a comment, leave a like, whatever you want to do. I think it's fun making gaming videos and vlogs and stuff. So if there's a game you want me to play or something, just like comment it. Because I like I don't even know what to play at this point. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and supporting my channel, even though my videos suck. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, gamers.